Hey everybody, Tucker here from Electric Cycle Rider. Today I've got the CZEM Drill One electric bike. The Drill One weighs in at 115 pounds and the motor has a peak output of 15 kilowatts. It's suspended by a Manitou Dorado front fork and an Elka rear shock. The rear shock has adjustable mounting options that will change the geometry of the bike. Up on the controls, it's got Pro Taper 3 inch rise handlebars, which are mounted to a direct mount stem. And to stop the bike, it's fitted with Hayes Dominion 4 piston brakes. It's a bike from the Czech Republic, and I'm told it's the only one in the United States right now. I was asked to put some time on the bike and give some feedback to what I think of it. So I'm gonna go do just that. I'll throw on my gear and we'll go get my first impressions on the bike. All right, the drill one by Czech Electric Motorcycles. Comes with a lanyard, so just gotta attach this guy like that, it's magnetic. And then toggle to on. The bike then does this kind of beeping thing and twists a little throttle. Now it's live. Uh, you've got your power modes here. Hit that, green is the low end power, blue is middle, and red is the fast one. So let's start out in the fast one. Oh, damn. Wow, this thing's fast. Really powerful. So it's got a peak power output of 15 kilowatts, which is a lot for a bike that <laughs> weighs this little. This thing is lighter than a Suron, weighs 115 pounds. So it's about five pounds lighter than a Suron. And getting close to triple the amount of power. It's kind of a handful in this red mode. Whoa, oh man. Yeah, it pulls. Really wants to get the front wheel off the ground. For sure. Man. That's impressively fast. That's for sure. I gotta remind myself that this is the only one in the United States right now. Probably tone it down a little bit. Definitely don't want to crash this bike. Which is something that I've been doing a lot lately. <laughs> but yeah, wow. All right, so this bike just feels really light and really powerful. If you can't tell, that's what I'm talking about so far. It's an interesting bike to ride. It's interesting because it's definitely another one of the style bikes that's kind of a moto mountain bike hybrid. It utilizes a lot of mountain bike parts. Like the Manitou Dorado fork and Elka rear shock. It's got Dominion brakes. And especially up front, this model has the 26 inch mountain bike front wheel on it. The rear wheel is really similar to a Suron, it's a 19 moto style, but not quite full moto wheel. Man. So, it's got all those 
same characteristics that make it feel a lot like a mountain bike, pretty similar to the Suron. So it's got that mountain bike feel, but yeah, it's crazy. It's even lighter than a Suron. And uses mountain bike parts. So you can get a moto wheel option for this bike, which I would be interested in doing. But I already feel like, I mean, it's nice that the bike feels light in the wheels, but this bike is just putting out so much power. I could stand to have some heavier wheels on it. louder than the free ride probably a pretty similar decibel as the free ride but it sounds different a lot of it's coming from that chain i think the bike's really well appointed uh just fit and finish the welds on the bike look really good um Really good brakes. Really good suspension. There's some adjustability too, which is cool. Looks like you've got options to set the mounting points for the rear shock, which should affect the angles of the bike a bit. Be curious to mess around with those a little bit. Get a little bit more rake out of the bike. And you can also adjust the foot pegs. Uh, there's plenty of positions to adjust the pegs fore or aft, which is cool. Help uh, get a variety of riders on this thing. It's a taller bike than the Suron for sure. Feels more like a full-size bike. In terms of height, the Suron feels small. This does not feel too small, especially with the Pro Taper bars on it. But the seat height is just higher. It's also got a nice seat too. I really like the seat on the bike because it's basically a full-size seat. You can really get up on the front of the bike and sit where the gas tank would be, which is nice. Because the Suron, you're kind of sitting on the battery department. It doesn't seem like you can hot swap these batteries very easily, but that's something I need to get answered. Fun bike though, really fun. It's nice to have so much power. All right, let's switch it down. Let's get out of this red mode here and see what the other power maps are like. Give a try on the on the blue now, which is the the mid power mode. Let's see what that one's like. Yeah, still feels really strong. Let's see if we can get out in the open here and what it does. That feels really good. Huh. Yeah, it feels... I mean, not as hard of a hit right off the bottom as red. But it still feels really strong. It's almost like it pulls higher 
which takes a little bit more to ramp up, but that's a really good manageable power mode. I feel like red could get you into trouble. Blue feels like it won't hit as hard off the bottom. Don't get me wrong, it still hits very hard. The mid mode on this bike would definitely still smoke a Suron. Yeah, I'm really liking this mid mode. Feels good. Feels more manageable. Still really fast. Our racing, I'd probably run it in the red mode, but this feels really good. All right, now that we've done the mid, let's flip it over to the green mode, see what that one's like. This is the Eco, so probably pretty, pretty tame. We'll see. Yeah, real tame. That's kind of nice though, that kind of opens up the options for different riders on this bike, because the green mode is really manageable. So even if you weren't wanting a ton of power, we didn't quite have that need for speed. Still get this bike and run it in the green mode, which feels pretty similar to how a Suron X feels in its eco mode. Maybe a little faster than that, but yeah. Nice to have options, right? Uh, really opens the bike up for a wide range of riders. But yeah, that green mode's not for me. There is bikes quick in that red mode. I think they call it racing mode. Oh man, yeah, when this thing hooks up, that front wheel's coming off the ground, that's for sure. All right guys, well that was the first ride on the Czech Electric Motorcycles Drill 1. Uh, wow, it's fast, that's for sure. Power to weight ratio is pretty crazy on this bike. 15 kilowatts max. Uh, weighing in at 115 pounds is pretty crazy. Uh, for comparison, the free ride is about 18 peak output kilowatts, but that bike weighs 250 pounds. So it's pretty wildly fast, I'd say, um, which is really fun when you want it. Dialing it back down to that mid power mode is probably most suitable for at least trail riding because you get out of whack and grab a handful, this thing will get the front wheel off the ground very easily. So something to keep in mind there, but I think the craftsmanship of the bike is really good. All the welds and design, uh, it seems like a lot of time and effort and skill went into designing this bike. Uh, that is very noticeable when you look at the bike. The bike is on the louder side, as you can hear, from the riding footage, I'm sure. It's chain driven, um, so a lot of that noise seems to be coming from there. But yeah, not the quietest electric bike, but you know, sometimes you gotta make a sacrifice for power. Yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting bike. I'd, I do need to spend some more time on it. You know, this is really my first ride, so I don't like to get too, too in depth on 
my feelings on it just yet. You know, it deserves a bit more riding before I get to that point, but I would like to try the moto wheels on it. I know that they uh, offer a moto wheel set up for this bike. I think that that'd be really great. I would personally like that a lot. So hopefully I'll get my hands on those. But my overall first impressions of the bike are really positive. I think it's a, a really cool offering. I, I hope that it becomes available in the United States. Like I said, this is the only one right now and I am testing it to give some feedback. So I'm gonna do some more of that. If there's anything on this bike that you guys wanna see or wanna know about, uh, shoot me a note in the comment section of the video here. Just tell me what you'd like to know and we'll try to make sure that that gets answered. Maybe I can do a follow-up video and answer some of your questions that you might have about this bike. So fire away. And thanks as always for watching, guys.